The dark clouds that gather over Johor Bahru look like a bad omen for those taking part in the 2014 Malaysian Rally. And the monsoon downpour that follows, flooding the urban track used for the pre-rally shakedown test, is for sure bad news for everyone. Because if it's pouring down here, it's probably raining too on the palm plantation tracks that provide most of this rally's tests. And they're renowned for turning treacherous when wet. But in particular, the deluge looks like very bad news for defending Asia-Pacific rally champion Gaurav Gill. That's because the Indian driver has come here for this fourth round of the 2014 championship, badly needing to play catch-up. A big crash that forced his retirement from the Australian third round of the APRC has left Gil way behind teammate and arch-rival Jan Kapetsky in the point standings. The thing is, he needs to push hard here, making the most of his past experience in Malaysia, and the fact that Kapetsky has never been here before. But when it's wet around here, you push hard at your peril. Yes, but it's, uh, it has to be a very fine balance between pushing um, and not making a mistake, you know, because it's very easy to make uh, mistakes and pick up uh, anything that you don't want to happen here because it's, uh, it's so tricky and it's, um, the roads are so narrow with a lot of palm trees, uh, you know, a lot of uh, trenches around and, and even very slippery stuff that, uh, you know, <laughs> if you press the brake, you might go faster. Even though Kapetsky holds a 39-point lead over Gill, the Czech star is taking nothing for granted. I have to say, first of all, we have to come to the finish, and uh, with these conditions what are here now, I think it will be very tricky tomorrow, uh, because uh, probably the rain was also on the stages today. So uh, it will be a lot of mud everywhere, so we have to fight with this. Uh, you know, hopefully we can, we can survive and come to finish. While protecting his APRC lead clearly comes first, he'd also like to win here. Gurav uh, gave us some advantage because he crashed on, uh, in Australia, so uh, for us it's, it's enough if he come to finish, but still, you know, uh, I think every rally, rally driver would like to fight about the first place, and uh, it's also our, position, uh, our, our situation. The MRF Skoda teammates are the clear pacemakers in the APRC field. But Gill's Aussie accident has allowed Australian Mark Pedder to close right up in the points, challenging him for second. But seriously, Pedder's not thinking in terms of competing with Gill or Kapetsky. He's simply relishing the challenge of his Malaysian debut. Yeah, it's something so different to anything that I've ever experienced before. And you hear all the stories about it, you know, about how slippery it is. And it's not until you get out there do you actually see how slippery it is. So, no, it's going to be a real challenge just to get through. So, and to try to drive reasonably quickly will be uh, a bigger challenge. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Reigning two-wheel drive, Junior Cup and Asia Cup winner Michael Young sits fourth in the APRC standings proving again in his little proton Satria Neo that consistency pays off. Of course we're here to finish like everyone else and you've got to be smart here otherwise you make mistakes easily and you put all the commitment and fast driving out of your head and you put the thinking cap on and you be mentally strong and you just the whole time just got to finish. Chinese driver Jun Xu is here with his Skoda Fabia S2000 holding sixth place in the APRC standings but with no big hopes of jumping up the order. The problem? He has no mud tyres. It's very sleepy when I, uh, do, uh, when I did the shakedown this morning. So at this moment, I just uh, wish there, were, there will be not pouring rain tomorrow. <laughs> so good luck to me. Seventh in the APRC is Indian driver Sanjay Tuckali, who retains his sense of humour despite worries about the likely conditions. Uh, finish is the plan. Uh, stay stay centre. As you have seen, witness the super special. Uh, I mean the, the shakedown. 
uh, drenched. Yeah. Uh, I, I was in two minds what to do. Yeah. Swim or drive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. The APRC field is boosted here by the addition of another five drivers, competing in the Asia Cup division, which starts here and continues over another three rounds. The entry is headed by Japanese Subaru Impreza cool. driver Yuya Sumiyama, a repeat cup winner. Malaysia, uh, very difficult condition, uh, very rough and slippy road, and uh, uh, thunderstorm, uh, very mad condition. Uh, but uh, I want to put him finish. Three, yeah. two, one. Japanese rallying TV presenter Mitsuhiro Kunisawa is making his Malaysian debut in an older Subaru Impreza. So what's your plan for here? What do you hope? Yes, uh, steady. <laughs> steady, steady. Yes. Uh, this car is a uh, uh, suspension. It's an uh, old one. Yes. And a steady on course. Yes. Yes. Uh, another guy, yeah. retire, lucky. <laughs> that's that's, yeah. Good. Yeah. that's yeah. Yes. good for you. Yes. Yes. Two, yeah. one, go! Tomohide Hasegawa is here with a Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10 and is happy with his drive to survive approach. Heavy lane is a lot of condition, very, very sleepy. Uh, uh, I will do my best. Thank you. Right. Yeah. The plan to finish? Yes. Oh, finish. <laughs> Come back with you. <laughs> Kohi Izuno is another making his Malaysian debut, driving a little okay, Suzuki ready? Ignis. Let's do it. Yeah, yes, yeah, first time. So it's, I think, um, very difficult road uh, because um, very slippy, uh, twisted corner. So, but I think it's very fun. Finally, 17-time Sri Lankan rally champion Dinesh Dehiragoda is launching an Asia Cup campaign in a Mitsubishi Evo 10. For easy racing, this is the start of an ambitious plan to use the APRC as a regional marketing tool, as team boss Shafraz Hamzadeen explains. Our objective is to be a front-running competitor in APRC by 2018. So in that, uh, we see this year as the beginning. We are planning to run only the Asia Cup this year and hopefully uh, enter the Australian and New Zealand rallies next year to run the entire APRC. It's a big deal, but De Hiragoda is intent on not getting carried away by the moment. Temptation is there, absolutely, being a driver. I mean, you don't want to sit behind the wheel and, like, you know, start, like, you know, going shopping or something like that. Uh, well, uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, I need to finish the rally, for sure, to collect some points for the championship, which is very vital. So let's see how it goes tomorrow. When we come back, the bad weather is broken, but so too is someone's car. By the time the cars roll over the start ramp for stage one of the Malaysian rally, the rain has long gone. The Angsana super stage, seriously flooded just hours earlier, is still very muddy. But at 2.5 kilometres it poses no great problems. Well, only for Zhu, whose lack of mud tyres costs him 1 minute and 44 seconds on stage winner Kapetsky. Luckily for the Chinese driver, the next day finds the weather hot and dry, with the Palm Plantation stages, about 50 kilometres northeast of Johor Bahru, drying out. Kapetsky continues where he left off, winning the first couple of stages. For Gil, who sets out with hopes of pressing on and taking the rally lead, things go badly. On the first stage of the day, he loses over half a minute to his teammate when grass blocks the air intake to his Skoda's radiator. No, and he and navigator Glenn McNeil are forced to stop and clear the debris to protect the overheating engine. Gill does bounce back to win stage three from Kempetsky by 20 seconds. But he then slides off the road 
clips a palm tree and spins. Slow six right. Oh, There's only cosmetic damage, but getting back on the road costs them over a minute. So, with the first half of the day done, Kapetsky leads by 1 minute and 17 seconds. Uh, we are just learning these roads, uh, but I think that we have quite good speed and uh, for us it's not important to, to push 400%. Uh, the main target is for us just to come to safely to the finish. Gill is a disconsolate second. Pretty disappointing morning, but uh, the rally is still on and it's still long, so we'll continue to do what we were doing. Shu makes it a Skoda 1-2-3, having just taken the third spot on stage four, despite now struggling a little with no handbrake. He's also third in the Asia Cup. Peter had been ahead of the Chinese driver through the day's first two stages, but then discovered he had no brakes. And it's one of the very few times I was flat and fifth out there. And yeah, straight to the floor, so there was... I'm not actually sure how I got around. I have to watch the in-car. <laughs> Tuckerley is fifth in his Subaru, but has even bigger dramas, starting with a gentle roll on stage two. It causes little damage, but ends up threatening him with heat exhaustion. My door got jammed, and for the next SS, this full SS, and subsequent SS, and transfer, I couldn't get out of the car. It was so hot, so hot, it kept me draining. I tried my best by getting fluids in, fluids in. By the end of the third SS, I was almost, I couldn't see. I was so drained out. Young is sixth, his Proton unable to match the speed of the more powerful cars in the drier but rougher conditions. In the Asia Cup, Gill, not surprisingly, is clearly in the lead. Sumiyama is showing his class, running second for the first three stages and quicker than the APRC competitors except for Kapetsky and Gill. After four stages, he's holding a one and a half minute margin on third place shoe. Tuckerley, despite his problems, is holding down fourth in the Asia Cup. Then it's Kunisawa. He's escaped a big jump with cosmetic damage only on his Subaru, but sums up the feelings of many experiencing these Malaysian roads for the first time. Yes, uh, many, many problems. Uh, it reason is uh, uh, very slippy, uh, unbelievable, and very tight road. Very dangerous. Tehera Goda's been off the road with radiator damage on his Mitsi as a result. Uh, yeah, morning has been very humid. Um, we are from a humid country, but still this humid is really bad, and I think I lost a little bit of focus on uh, stage three, uh, stage four and uh, I went on to a palm oil uh, tree. So that's the damage that they're working on right now. Hasegawa has hurt his back on a jump and is driving simply to finish. But the biggest crash claims the rally's smallest car, Izuno and navigator Noritaka Kosaka escaping unscathed. But their little Suzuki, not so lucky, after a big jump on stage two. What happened? Uh, I just flat, uh, very long straight, and over there, a uh, big press. And I jump and uh, roll over oh, this way. Uh, I don't remember how many loading. Uh. In the afternoon's repeat runs through the morning stages, the luck soon changes in the MRF Tires Skoda team. For Gil, it turns for the better. For Kapetsky, the worse. A small part of his Skoda's rear suspension breaks after an easy jump on stage six. And that's it. He's forced to retire from a one minute, 14 second lead. Oh, bad luck, you know, good luck. You know, it's a it. you know, it's a rally, this can happen. Uh, the drivers can make a mistake, they can crash or something like this. And also the car can break down. So there's a part of the game sometimes. Uh, tomorrow we will, we will restart for sure. Of course, there is some motivation uh, to score at least some points, but uh, hopefully we can get some nice feeling behind the driving, uh, behind the uh, steering wheel. And still keep that lead in the championship. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not counting the points so much. But, uh, 
hopefully yes. Now, with an eight and a half minute lead, Gill is able to ease off, taking no risks and trying to ensure a finish and a good points haul. He's cheered on by a team of friends and his wife who've flown in from India. They're all uh, ex-co-drivers and drivers, so they know the sport and uh, that's why the passion. And your wife as well, yelling from the side. Yeah, my wife's always there yelling. <laughs> go, go, go. Sometimes you don't have to go so hard in this rally. <laughs> By day's end, his lead is out to 10 minutes 13 seconds in the APRC and 7 minutes and 30 seconds in the Asia Cup, despite numerous scares. Yeah, I mean, actually I just got like probably one clean stage, I would say, since morning because every stage there was some issue or the other. Uh, so uh, it's been a long day, a lot of dramas. I'm happy to be back. There's a seesawing fight for second fastest on the stages between Peta and Shu, the Australian quicker on the first two tests. But Shu beats him on the next two, making up for a one minute penalty imposed for being late out of the midday service to take second in the APRC and third in the Asia Cup. Peter ends up third of the Asia Pacific runners and pretty happy with his day. Oh, look, it, it's super tough and it's hot and, um, you know, the roads are tricky, but, you know, you get to the end of the day and, and it's just so satisfying to, to know you've met the challenge and, um, and come through. And, you know, the result we had was not bad considering we had a couple of dramas this morning. Tuckerley bounces back from his overheating problems to put in a steady afternoon, ending the day fourth in the APRC, fifth in the Asia Cup. I was in uh, two minds at one point of time to pull out also, but I didn't give up and uh, I gathered all my courage and uh, saw the day through. Young holds down a lonely fifth place, despite a scare with his proton in the last stage. Just lost power in a mid corner, and from the rest, probably halfway through, it just had no power and changed gear, and then suddenly no power, and then it would come on a bit and break, and no power. You know. So we've lost probably four minutes. Um, as soon as we get here and turn the car off and turn it back on, it seems to have fixed itself. So four minutes for nothing, maybe. In the Asia Cup, Sumiyama and Shu scrap over second fastest time in the afternoon stages. In the end, the Japanese driver holds a two minute 40 second advantage, seven and a half minutes behind Gill. And although he's not competing directly against the APRC entrance, it's interesting to note that he's one minute 40 seconds faster today than Shu. Yeah, uh, very, very tough rally today, yeah. You look a bit tired now. Yeah, very, very tired. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kunisawa has been fighting through the afternoon with Tuckerley, ending up 31 seconds ahead for fourth. His Impreza battered, but still going. Every race is course out, course out, course out. Then the broke. Yes, yes. Uh, and uh, my team, no budget. <laughs> yeah, no spare battery, spare bat no spare bumper. Yes, no spare parts. Uh, repair. <laughs> Yes. Sixth behind Tuckerley is De Herigoda, who's survived a broken exhaust, a loss of brakes, and at least one off. Have you experienced anything like this, this Malaysian rally before? Uh, no, never in my life. <laughs> Not in rally, never in my life. This is something totally, totally different, and I'm learning uh, about the APRC championship now. Last of the Asia Cup runners is Hasegawa, still struggling with a sore back. Surprisingly, given what's at stake here in the Malaysian Rally in terms of championship points, Gil wins the first stage of day two by seven seconds from Kapetsky. But then the rear shocks on Gil's Skoda start playing up and he backs off. That leaves the Czech driver to take over the front running unchallenged, and he duly makes a clean sweep of the last five tests. But Gil clearly isn't bothered. The points for winning this rally will put him back in contention for this year's Asia Pacific title. 
and he cruises to the degree that on the final test, he's not only beaten by Kapetsky, but also by Shu, Sumiyama and Peda. And then it's done. An APRC win by more than 13 minutes and by almost 11 minutes in the Asia Cup. Yeah, it was very, very important. You know, this rally was probably the decider as far as our championship was concerned. So we, I knew there was only one thing that I had to do was get the car back and try and win this. Uh, even if it had to go da right down to the wires, uh, I was ready for it. Peter fights all day with Shu for second place. The Australian finally prevailing by 21 seconds. Delighted to have done well in a rally that people warned him was dangerously difficult. And it's true, like it's just so tough. The heat, the roads, like there's just no airflow through the car because of the junctions. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, you get to the finish and it really is a buzz. After an event in which his Skoda has been hobbled by a lack of mud tyres and handbrake problems, Shu salvages third place in both the APRC and the Asia Cup. After his dramas yesterday, Tuckerley has one more scare, almost going off on the last stage. But he does finish fourth in the Asia Pacific and fifth in the Asia Cup and is very happy to be here. Yes, I think uh, for people like us, I think finishing itself is like winning the rally because the weather will take a toll on you, the, the palm plantation, the short stage, the, the short corners, uh, a, lot of, a lot of calls to go through. So I think it's a very tough event, I think. Young can't repeat last year's sensational APRC win here, but he does maintain his 100% 2014 finishing record and clinches the Junior Cup for the second straight year. It's sort of that survival mode. You switch off from committed, driving fast to just survival and trying to survive the stages here because they're just car breakers and it can easily go wrong pretty quickly. Kapetsky easily claims the seven bonus points for fastest time on leg two. One minute 11 seconds quicker than Gill, but unsurprisingly he's still disappointed. Yeah, of course, because, you know, I spent like uh, 16 hours in the plane to come here and uh, a small problem, technical problem, uh, which cost us uh, first place, I, I, I can say that, you know, so we are a little bit disappointed, but uh, still we are happy with our pace. But uh, now from Malaysia we can see that uh, if we make a good notes and the car is working well, that we can have the same pace as, uh, as our teammate. So it's important for us to know. In the Asia Cup, behind runaway winner Gil, Sumiyama and Shu fight over the runner-up place. Sumiyama heads the Skoda driver on the first two stages of the day, but then loses the power steering on his Impreza for the next couple. Chu is quicker on each of the last four stages and, in fact, beats Gil too on the very last test. But Sumiyama is still two and a half minutes ahead of Shu and takes out second place in the Asia Cup and in a time two minutes quicker than APRC runner-up Peter. I don't know, I know no problem, uh, but uh, Malaysia Road, ne, very uh, hard, uh, very hot and uh, very slippy. And very tired, yeah. Kunisawa completes his first Malaysian rally, a respectable fourth in the Asia Cup. Basically, big problem. Many, many. <laughs> yes, a small, happy. Dehera yeah. Goda is a little disappointed with sixth place in the Asia Cup, but also relieved to make it to the finish. I mean, I had never driven a rally like this in my whole career of 17 years. And it's something really, really, uh, like, you know, it's very strenuous on the body, the human body, and as well as on the car, as you could see. So it's a big learning curve, and let's see what I could take it uh, forward to Hokkaido from here on. Hasegawa is very happy to finish after enduring a painful two days with a sore back. Yes, yes, yes. Jump or uh, bump, gone, or oh, better, better, or oh, back pain. Oh, so that <laughs> instead of when I'm finished, uh, very, very good yes. Thank you. Yeah. The top three from the combined APRC and Asia Cup contest celebrate on the podium. And the MRF Tyres Skoda team is happy with another win. 
The combined APRC and Asia Cup results show a Gill win by almost 11 minutes over Sumiyama, with Petter in third and Shu in fourth. Kunisawa is fifth and Takali sixth. Young, Dehiragoda and Hasegawa complete the finishes. In the APRC points, Gill closes to within eight points of Kapetsky with Petter alone in third, ahead of Young and Shu tied for fourth. In the Asia Cup, Gill gets a 10-point lead over Sumiyama with Shu in third. Next up in the Asia Pacific Rally Championship, Gill and Kapetsky go head to head again in Japan's tough and tricky Rally Hokkaido. <laughs> Thank you.